what's going on youtube welcome back to another star citizen bounty hunters guide and you asked for it since i kept using it as a thumbnail and i wasn't using the ship but we are in my aegis saber comet for today's video but today we are going to be covering hrts i finally got up to the um to up to hrts and uh we're going to cover those it's not much different than other uh, bounties except you get a couple different more a couple different ships and possibly some more targets like i said they normally go from three to four targets throughout all of your um all your bounties but today um we are covering hrts we're going to do the certification and the single bounty just to give you um for sake of consistency and give you an idea of what to expect from those so before we start i want to point out that when it comes to hrts you can start seeing uh, vanguards valkyries and um hurricanes those are also those are normally the main vhrt targets that you see because you normally see them grouped up together or whatever but a lot of the times for hrts the main target can still be a hurricane a vanguard or a um or a valkyrie so if you want to take a little bit more of a bigger ship or a beefier ship, go ahead. You know, take the Vanguard. Hell, you could even start taking out uh, Constellations. Um, you could take out uh, any kind of medium fighter, like here, the, the Saber, Hornet, something like that. Something with a little bit more punching power, if you feel like it. Um, I will point out, they aren't easy to do when it comes to HRTs and VHRTs and higher up. They are not easy to do in starter ships, but it is doable. You can definitely do them in like a Pisces or a Titan or something like that. So don't feel like you need to be like, oh my God, I need to grind out these lower tiers so I can make some money so I can buy, buy a new ship. Don't feel like that. I mean, I'm sure you're not only doing bounty hunting to make money. I'm sure you're doing bunker missions and stuff like that. But it's totally doable in an Avenger Titan. I'd actually recommend if you still have a starter ship to do these in an Avenger Titan. So, um, yeah. So yeah. You can do it in your Avenger Titan. You can start bringing up some some heavy hitters or heavier hitters and go from there. So let's grab our our certification. The certification for HRTs is the Journeyman Tracker License Certification. And if you look through the description, apprehend high risk targets. HRTs. HRTs are high risk targets. So we are going to do that. The fee for this one is 5,000 Alpha UEC. Don't forget to always also have your call to arms. I already have mine because I was doing some bounty hunting just before this video. But always, 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 always make sure you grab call to arms under the mercenary, uh, mercenary, uh, mercenary chat. I cannot talk. I apologize. Um, mercenary tab under the general window. There we go. Oh my God. That was painful. So. We got to fly all the way out to Microtech for this one. Good thing I upgraded my quantum drive on my Sabre. We will mount. We will uh, plot our route. And we will QT over there. All right. Since we're entering atmosphere to our bounty, I wanted to uh, take this moment to mention something. The Sabre specifically is one of my top recommendations if you guys want to do atmospheric dogfighting whether it's you want to focus fighting your bounties or even pvp well maybe not pvp so much but um any kind of atmosphere kind of dogfighting especially pve um the saber is one of my highest 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 recommendations along with the vanguard uh, arrow talon and i think that's about it off the top of my head um the Sabre specifically, in my opinion, flies as of right now, as of Alpha 3.18.2, it flies absolutely perfect in atmosphere. Um, Vanguard flies pretty well in atmosphere too. Um, so does the Arrow. The Arrow flies just as good in atmosphere as the Sabre. And the Talon also flies pretty good in an atmosphere as well. So if you want to focus your bounty hunting in atmosphere, those are the ships I would recommend. So we got 
our cert, we got a hornet, we got a saber, and a Valkyrie. So we got a we got a big boy. So when it comes to higher tiers, especially when it comes to like a Valkyrie or something like that, I take off well for tankier ships, I will actually take their wingmen down first. So they're not bugging me so much. While I'm trying to take down the, uh, the tank, your target. There we go. Now his wingmen are done. Uh, let's get him. And start whittling him down. You don't have to take down their wingmen. It's just for the sake of trying to keep shots on and not being annoyed. Take them down that way. And look at that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, Pez right there. I have said before that Pez has been a mistake because of a lot of the junk flying around. But when you see a ship fall down like that to the ground... That's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. What's that down there? Arrow just chilling down there. So now that we got our cert done, we can grab an HRT. All right. Now that it's populated, we have Active Bounty Bradley Smiley. I don't know how to pronounce that. HRT. Like I said in previous videos, all you really got to look for is the parentheses HRT. That is the right bounty. And for these, we get paid 11,250. Uh, yeah, 11,250 alpha UEC. So we're starting to get a little bit up there in money. Um, if I re remember correctly, actually, no, I don't remember. I don't remember how much VHRT is pay, uh, pay, but you're starting to get up a little bit, a little bit in the money making scene. Granted, it's not like the greatest you're only in hrts you start really making the money at top tier like vhrts and erts depending on the ship you're flying and i also already have two recommendations for erts that we will talk about on the ert video um but yeah so now you're making a little bit more money oh now that we've made it to hrts the way i do make money until i'm grinding on uh, until i get up to vhrts is i will um i will chain single MRTs and HRTs and uh, group MRTs and HRTs. I will take all of them all at once and I will basically just bust them all out and then grab more, go do them again. And I just, I basically just take on eight different targets pretty much at once. I mean, obviously it's not in the same spot, but in one, I guess, flight, we'll call it that. So that's what I normally do to make money. I'll, I would grab an HRT and, I'm, and an MRT. And then if you get lucky, they're in the same spot. That's why I normally kind of pair the groups together because that way you can really pair them. Um, so if I'm doing two group bounties for uh, HRTs and MRTs, I'll do both targets on selling, both targets on yellow, both targets on Damar, grab two more, both targets on Damar, both targets on yellow, both targets on, on selling and kind of rinse and repeat from there. So let's grab our HRT and show you what to expect from that. It's not going to be much different from the certification, but you never know. So I wanted to take a little bit of time just to uh, give another example of how sometimes you do have to sublight a good amount, um, good amount of distance to your target. Like here, I had I've had I've had to sublight tw 220 kilometers just because it wasn't over a. Uh, like a landmark or something like that. And on Clio specifically, the moon around Microtech does not have um, that many landmarks on the moon. So Microtech especially, there's a lot of cases where you will be sublighting to your bounties. So, but since we are getting... Ooh. Ooh. Mm, mm -hmm, mm, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Love it. Um, but since we are getting close, we'll just keep it going from there. So another way, especially with the Saber, um, or just any ship in general, 
if you want to go against these bigger targets some people whittle down shields then uh, smack on missiles i open up with missiles if i if i decide i want to use missiles so the saber stock missiles do come with four size threes you got two thunderbolts and two and i think arresters yes so you got two arrestor threes and two thunderbolt threes come stock that's a pretty decent missile loadout it's not bad um you can holding three or four size three missiles on the saber is great um so you can go anywhere from 16 size ones eight size twos four size threes and two size fours that's honestly it's probably some of the best missile loadouts you can do out of anybody and here we do here we have a hurricane so i normally run the two size four missiles on the saber just because that if you hit those missiles they just smack as freaking great but we got a hurricane we're gonna open them up with our thunderbolt threes got both primed i'm gonna wait till about three and a half k hurricanes can be dangerous since they do have a gunner on them too hurricanes got two size fours and a manned um size three turret or quad size three turret so let's launch those missiles flare off those we just got smacked but we're good we did some decent damage to that hurricane can't quite see my pip there he is all right we did get his shields down though that's a good thing some good damage on him boom done we knocked him out pretty quickly so we got oh 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 Ooh, all right, all right, you're, you're not doing this. We're gonna take out this whole wing. Damn Eclipse. Remember what I said about Eclipses. They tend to have unlimited ballistic fire and they can tear you apart if you let them hit you. So here. All right, he got too close. All right, create some distance. Got good hits. Done. All right. If we hit that, if we get hit by that missile, we are toast. All right. Auroras can be very, very, very annoying. But if you hit your shots, you can bust them, bust them out really quick. Another Aurora. No wonder why it seemed like I was getting pounded. Reload my magazine. All right. And that is our HRT bounty done. So yeah, you can take them two ways, especially on tankier ships. You can open up with your missiles, try to burst down those shields as fast as you can, and try to get some hull damage with your guns, or you can melt melt the target's shields down with your guns and try to create some distance and um, launch the missiles from there. Reason why I open up with missiles is because I'm already at a good distance where I can launch missiles instead of trying to get distance after the fact and let their shields and letting their shields recharge. So I'll open up with missiles launch them at about three and a half k out switch to my weapons once the missiles smack if they smack start trying to burst them down and gun them down kind of like how i did with that hurricane but that is hrts hrts are where bounty hunting starts to get real let's be honest um not saying they're, they're hard at any means once you start getting used to doing pve bounties and stuff they're pretty trivial regardless of tier that you do but um hrts is when you can start really feeling some challenge especially if you're new but i feel like that went pretty well so 
that is HRTs for you guys, and I will see you guys when um we get to VHRTs. I think in the meantime, before we do HR or VHRTs, because it's gonna take me a little bit to grind them out. Um, before we do VHRTs, I'll probably do a couple videos, probably a couple um chip recommendations and walking through how to load out a ship. Um, depending on how things go with how the servers are handling, because let, let's just say seven or eighteen point two is hit or miss best case scenario but i'm gonna wrap things up here i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead leave a like hit that subscribe button just a reminder i'm going for 10,000 subscribers by the by january 1st 2024 if we hit that goal i will do my first ship giveaway so i will see you guys in the next video and around the verse Alrighty, have a good one